today I'm showing you how to get Roblox shaders. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and hit the subscribe button. And once you've done that, go and leave a like as well. I really do appreciate it. So essentially in this video, I'm showing you how to go and get Roblox reshade and then how to go and use the shaders on it. It's quite a complicated video, but I try and cover it all in today's video. So I recommend not skipping it at all and just watching it um, to make sure you do understand all the key points. But without any further ado, let's go and jump into this video. So as you can see, I'm now on my computer and before we get any further, I want to say a huge shout out to Extravi for making the shaders. They look absolutely insane. I've linked his channel down below. Feel free to go and drop him a subscription and check out his videos. They're really, really cool. So the first thing you want to do is simply open up a browser and we're going to go and download the shaders. So let's go and open up a browser. In this case, I'm using Chrome, but you can use any browser you would like. So once you've got your browser open, the first thing you want to do is make sure you go to a site called WinRAR because of, we're downloading a zip file, which is a compressed file because of the size, we need to be able to open it. So make sure you come and download WinRAR, it's free. You can click download WinRAR here and then click download WinRAR here and it's gonna go and start downloading. You get a free trial and you can go and simply install that and you're fine. I've already got this installed. So once you've got WinRAR, then you wanna go to the link in the description, courtesy of Xtravi, and I'm gonna paste it in here and click OK, um, enter. And now it's gonna load. So as you can see here, it is Xtravi's Reshade Present 2021. Like I said, link below as well as Xtravi's channel. Then you wanna go and click download and it's gonna take a minute. So it downloads it within the browser and then it drops the download down here. So just to wait, as you can see, this will depend on your internet speed. Um, so wait for this to download and uh, then we go and get into the next step. So once it's finished here, it's then gonna hopefully start to download down here, I'm pretty sure. Completed, yeah, boom, as you can see, it then downloads here. So once you've got that downloaded, you then want to drag your, your browser or your download here. So make sure you've got it here or open up in your files and then drag it to your home screen just like so and it's gonna drop it there. And as you can see, that is the WinRAR logo. Now, because this is, this is a zip file, we need to unzip it. So double click on it and then get, grab your file here and simply drag the XRV reshade preset out the file and then put it below it. And now it's gonna extract it and then we can go and double click it. Now it's gonna open up, as you can see, this is everything you need right here. Um, and we can now go and get into the next step. Then you want to come and find your Roblox player on your desktop. And you want to do is simply click on it, then right click on it and you get the list here. And you want to come to open a file location, click there. And then it gives you all of this list here. So then the next thing you want to do is simply go and open up that file again, the Xtravi Reset Presets. Then we've got all of these here, as you can see. And once you've got both of these files open, you then come to the Xtravi's Reset Preset just here and we'll drag them all up just like so. Select them all, right click and click copy. And then we'll come back to the Roblox location, right click and put paste. So then paste, and hopefully it's gonna go and do it. As you can see, it's now pasted them all. And we're gonna quit off here, quit off these both, and then come back to our browser. And of course go to Roblox, just like so. And then we're gonna go and test this out in a game. So I'm gonna test out, I'll just test out speed run for this. So guys, just a quick note, every time you have to update Roblox, you're gonna to have to re-watch this video. Essentially, I just re-ran Roblox and I had to do an update and then I lost all of the files I just put in. So if you have to do an update, just re-watch the tutorial and you'll be fine. So make sure you updated Roblox and then go and click play. And then we're gonna click open Roblox and I'll just play this out and wait for it to start and then I'll be showing you how to go and actually use the shaders. It's really simple and that we'll go and see. So this has now made it too big. Now you'll know it's successfully installed because as you can see at the top, reshade, okay? That's what you wanna see, reshade. And I don't know why my shirt's not loading, but anyways, then you wanna go and click home on your keyboard. On your keyboard, click home and then you get this, okay? You get all of this here, you click skip tutorials, I'm showing you how to do it. And then you want to do it simply where it says default present, click there and then go down to Xtravi's. Now you can choose, so the low one's gonna be a bit low power, although they're all still quite high powered, um, but I'm gonna go for medium in this example, click there, and then it runs it. As you can see, it takes a minute to update, and it'll be black for a little minute. As you can see, it then finishes loading. Now, to then you wanna come along to settings, and you wanna go to effect toggle key, and then press the key, so. And then once you've got your effect toggle key set, you then press home again, and then you can go and turn the shaders on and off by pressing the hot hotkey set. So for me it was delete. So now I can turn it on and off just by clicking that. So every time I press delete when I'm not moving, it goes and changes the shaders. Now as you can see, it changes the focus. So it may take a while for you to find the right one and of how you like it. Um, so I'm gonna go and change it. So I'm gonna press home again, and then I'm gonna come uh, along to uh, home. And you click down here, 
I'm gonna go and try super reflective. I'll click there. And once you've got the preset you want selected, go and press home again and it's gonna get rid of the pop-up. And then you can literally go and turn it on and off like I said using delete and you can go and test out which ones you like This will be a bit laggy as well and there are tons of other shaders you can check out I just really like Extravi so once again a huge credits to him um, and feel free to go check them out But if you have found this video useful, please go down below and hit the subscribe button And once you've done that go and leave a like as well and I look forward to catch you in the next video. Have an awesome day. Peace